And in recent years, criticisms of fellow actors and his evangelical support of Scientology has meant that fans have seen a new side to him. Now, in a new video leaked onto the internet, Cruz says Scientology can save the world, help drug addicts, and rehabilitate criminals. Being a Scientologist, when you drive past an accident, it's not like anyone else. Drive past, you know you have to do something about it because you know you're the only one that can really help. We are the authorities on getting people off drugs. We are the authorities on the mind. We are the authorities on improving conditions. Criminon, we can rehabilitate criminals. Way to happiness, we can bring peace. Well, I'm joined now by uh, Arnie Lerma. He's uh, a writer and a former member of the Church of Scientology, who's now become something of a critic of it, and he joins us now from Washington. Mr. Lerma, good to talk to you. Um, tell me, what sort of an ambassador for the faith of Scientology is a man like Tom Cruise? Uh, Tom Cruise is their best promoter. People who don't have access to the Internet, who... Um, don't know any better and especially don't know much world history might be fooled by the claims because um, Scientologists themselves take great pride in emulating their founder however their founder was classed as a paranoid schizophrenic what about these claims that he makes in this this video which I assume wasn't really meant to come for general distribution, you know, saving the world, you know, uniting everybody, bringing peace, the only people who can really help people that get stuck in an accident, all those sort of things. Where does all this come from? Do you really want to know? Um, Scientology is the world's largest global scam. It's based on hypnosis and the propaganda techniques that built the Third Reich. At their strong claims, I mean, you were on the inside. You now look at them and uh, and look at them, scrutinize them pretty carefully at the outside. And where have you gathered that sort of evidence from? Since 1992, I've been researching how Scientology did it. I mean, they fooled me. They took 10 years of my life. I thought it was a wonderful thing to have access to the secrets of the universe. I thought that perhaps through Scientology's teachings I could become an uberman, like a god upon the earth. And you know where those phrases come from? Scientology translates those and hides their sources with its own arcane nomenclature. So, Same promise. Yeah, um, I mean, why? I mean, you, you claim that it's a scam. What's behind it? What, what's it all for, then, if it's not a faith? And clearly, people like Tom Cruise, I assume, believe that it's a genuine faith and it's part of his support system. Tom Cruise believes whatever he's told to believe. When I was in, I believed that Scientology would clear the planet. That is, turn all you people out there into clears and operating thetans, people with super-duper spiritual powers like gods upon the earth. I thought once I attained those wonderful powers, I would make great changes and make this a better place. Little did I know that I was taking part in a charade based on the best mind control techniques in 3,000 years of Earth's history. You now help people to um, uh, re-engage with the rest of the world once they've left Scientology, I understand. Uh, yes, I do. I have done interventions and taken people in a few days from being Tom Cruise to being a member of the human race again. How tough's that? How difficult? What do you have to do? Um, Flo Conway in her book Snapping describes the procedure pretty well, but uh, you take each of their arguments that they come up with and you have to show them hard evidence, evidence that can't be uh, refuted. And even if it is refuted, if you shoot down 40 or 50 of these claims that they make in a row, after a while they begin to doubt. And once they begin to doubt, their mind begins to open again to reality around them. Their eyes open. They lift their heads. They start looking around. Um, after they're finished, they, f they wonder where they've been. I mean, it's hard to take these people seriously or take anyone seriously who believes that their bodies are infested with the spirits of dead space aliens. Um, how, 
I mean, you've obviously been pretty critical since you left the organisation. Now, what's that, uh, you know, what's that meant to you? Have you come into criticism yourself or worse? Um, well, I was, I, I, 12 or 13 years ago, I posted their secrets to the Internet and was sued in federal court in Virginia and survived the lawsuit without being gagged which is what they pursue all of their litigation for. We have pages of their past litigation where they just it's just considered a business expense to pursue litigation to bankrupt the person and then offer them a pile of money and then so they can't speak. And um, that way no one can ever come out and explain how the scam works. If you know too much about them, they label you a suppressive person. You become an enemy of Scientology and you must be destroyed utterly per Hubbard's teachings. Arnie Lerma, very good talking to you. Fascinating insight into Scientology. Thank you. Coming up at the Thank top of the hour, much. more on the Diana Inquest. and minute film about Scientology has swept right across the internet. And Scientology